Hi everyone, I am Jamie Delane Watson from jamiedelanewatson.com. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Today, we're gonna to be talking about rainy wedding days, how to handle them, how to communicate to your clients, and how to actually shoot those rainy wedding days to deliver the best images possible. So let's get started. Tip number one is communicating with your couples in advance. Our goal is always to answer clients' questions before they even have to ask them. So what I mean by this is, uh, Vancouver is a very rainy climate. We get a ton of rain in the winter, not so much in the summer, uh, but rain is something that brides are very worried about and there's a very high chance there will be rain on your wedding day if you get married in Vancouver. So if I see rain in the forecast, see rain upcoming a week or two weeks in advance, or if we're in a ra rainy season like October through April, that's the rainy season here, maybe November, I'm gonna reach out about two weeks before and I'm gonna say, hey, don't mean to stress you out. Here's what the forecast is looking like. Here's how we are gonna attack this together. Here's my rain plan. I have umbrellas, I have this, I have this. This is what I've thought about. So right away, that's gonna put your clients at ease and help them to trust you because you will have answered their question before they even asked and give a firm plan with here's how we handle rain and that'll really improve your photos. Tip number two is prepare your gear bag. So a few things need to be done. Number one, I use all Canon Professional L series lenses, which means that they are weather sealed. Weather sealed is not waterproof. You don't want to be taking these in a pool or in the ocean, but what it means is that they can be rained on and there isn't going to be any issues with the equipment breaking down. So that's amazing to not need to be worried about like covering my equipment at every single point on a rainy wedding day. It is all right. The next thing I'd recommend in your gear bag is a rain sleeve. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a plastic covering. They're usually very cheap, just a couple dollars, I think maybe up to $10 at your local camera store. And it covers the entire camera body except for the end of the lens, so it doesn't affect the picture. I've never actually had to use any of these, but I did buy them last season when a huge rainstorm was predicted. I had two weddings in October on the same weekend. In the end, the rain escaped us, uh, we got lucky. But anyway, I have these now in my gear bag. So this way, if you did need to be in the absolute pouring rain and you were worried about your gear or you didn't have weather sealed gear, this would be what you'd wanna buy. So you can um, click the link in the description and that'll take you right to where you can buy it. Next one might be obvious, but you're gonna need a rain jacket and a rain jacket with a hood. I find it really, really helpful to not have to worry about holding an umbrella over myself and I just have a rain jacket, I'm good to go, I can peel it off when I get to the reception, doesn't matter how wet I get. Now, if you are worried about your equipment, you don't have a rain jacket, you can also buy just a massive golf umbrella and have your second shooter hold that over you and your camera while you're shooting because that can be helpful as well. The final thing you'll want in your gear bag is a set of umbrellas. If you live in a rainy climate, this is gonna be so key. Not only is it a bonus to your clients to know that, hey, I have all these umbrellas, you don't need to worry about a thing. I have, I think, eight black umbrellas and two clear umbrellas. Eventually, I'd like to get all clear. I just haven't got around to it. But it's nice to have that as a backup. I let the clients know they're always with me. They will always, always be in my trunk. Of course, if they wanna buy some in their wedding colors, go for it. But a lot of brides, that's something they don't think about until maybe the month of the wedding. And they're like, oh my goodness, thank you so much for saying that. Thank you for having these umbrellas. So if you wanna look like a star, buy a set of umbrellas and let the bride know you're bringing them. Okay, so tip number one was communicate with your clients. Tip number two was prepare your gear bag. Tip number three is evaluate the timeline and locations. What I mean by this is rain, especially pouring rain, it's going to make you slower. You're gonna be uh, taking longer to get places because you'll be balancing umbrellas and the bride will be worried about her hair and the bridesmaids will be getting the bottoms of their dresses wet. So we really need to build an extra time into this timeline. Location-wise, I mean two things. So the first is, um, just a good example, a wedding I did in December. Originally, I wanted to shoot kind of in the middle of a forest. Now, it was going to be raining. I'm not going to have the wedding party and the bride and groom walk 10 minutes, uh, the girls all in heels, into the middle of a forest when it's raining. It would be ideal in the summer, but it's not going to work. So what I chose is a spot on the trail that was a 30 second walk from the cars just to eliminate all of that transit time when we're dealing with the rain. So you kind of need to have like a plan A and a plan B. The other thing is when it comes to actual locations, in Vancouver, I usually have three plans, as silly as that sounds. Plan A is a sunshine plan, the summer plan. Plan B is a sprinkling rain plan, which requires maybe shorter walking time, umbrellas, rain jackets, that kind of thing. Now my plan C, is the pouring rain plan. So this is the plan that nobody wants to have to have, but if it is pouring rain, you're gonna to wanna to look for local locations 
that are undercover. So you're looking at parking garages, you're looking at city streets where there's an overhang so the wedding party can be covered but you're out in the rain. And planning and um, giving the bride all of this information in the month before is gonna help her feel super secure. And honestly, between the sprinkling rain plan and the pouring rain plan, that's something we make a decision on the day of. And I communicate all this with the bride and she has trust in me, so it's not a problem um, to make that call kind of last minute on the day of. So if you want to be prepared, to shoot rainy wedding days and anything the weather throws at you, download my free email template that'll help you communicate the rain plan with your brides and grooms and increase their trust in you. And so the wedding day, it won't be a stressful thing if it's raining, it'll just be, oh, we know what to do. We got a plan B, here we go. So if you wanna download that email template, you can go to jamiedelainewatson.com slash rain plan and you can grab that for free. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please subscribe, like it, comment. I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Thank you so much again. See you next week.